All right. Part three. Heavy metal steampunk treasure box. There's no way I can even lift this now. Well, I'm not going to risk it. Let's put it that way. So let's get things fired up and fabricate some kind of a lid for it. Get the diesel heater going. And I'm going to go out to the shipping container and see what scraps I can find. Okay, out in the shipping container I found inch and a quarter square tubing. Just enough pieces to do the frame of the top of the box. So I need to get these heated up and cleaned up. And away we go! Start cutting some steel. Okay, we've got all four top pieces cut. Now I'm just doing a fit test. Make sure my measurements were right. That looks good. Now I'm going to deburr the ends on this. Okay, now that I got a deep bird, I want to tack it down, refit it, and then weld it up after I get dressed. I got it tacked down. Now before I tack the other side, I want to do a fit test on it. Fits good, so I'll tack the other side and then weld it up. And the reason you want to tack both sides of it, because when you start pouring heat to it and start welding these seams, it will pull apart or warp. Ask me how I know. Yeah. And you want to make sure that those tacks are good and solid with good penetration in them. But I'm just a hobbyist, okay? So keep that in mind. going to grind these welds smooth so that uh, because it's the top and it'll lay flat and that's what I need to do and I'm going to do it indoors much as I hate to so I'll see you when I'm done we got to grind it out you know roughed in got a lot of the dust blown out of here got the heater back on and we'll do a fit test. The reason I'm using, using this inch and a half square tubing is because it's all I got. That'll kind of work. So, yeah. We have a nice fit all the way around. Nice square. 
Okay, now we're going to figure out what we're going to do with the rest of it. Now I'm going to cut this leftover piece of diamond plate. I'm going to piece it in. Well, you'll see. And so we got it marked. So I'll just make a cut here. And then I'll make another cut here after that one. And then I'm going to piece it in on each side of this and weld it, weld it in. You'll see. See, I fit uh, one side over on the right, one side over on the left. And this is, we're looking at the, this is the lid, we're looking at the underside of it. So I'm going to get these welded in here. I'm going to use, I'm going to use my new tool holder, accessory tool holder, light stand. Oh, well you just look at that. how it looks so now I'm gonna weld it in Okay, we got her stapled in there. I'm satisfied with that. Now what? Oh, I'll show you. We got this nice last piece of wicked looking steel. We're going to cut it, put it in there. Yeah, buddy. So the last time I cut this steel, for the box itself. It was slow and hard going with that little DeWalt, four and a half inch. So we're gonna break out the 14 and a half amp Metabo, made in Germany. Yeah, buddy. It'll be awesome. This project's just about done. I'm excited to get it done. Although I did enjoy doing it.
are weld on hinges that I picked up at Menards. Ooh, them babies are just gonna fit. looks nice and tight. Now I just need to do like a makeshift chain for it. So, yeah. Yeah, that, that matches better. We fabricated that lid pretty fast and it's another project in the can and it is gonna be very sturdy and I can put all my stuff in there like this. And I can just put my stuff in there like that and not worry about it. Look at that. All my scrap metal, weld on supplies. See this? Watch. See how thick that is? Boop. Here we go. Here goes another one. See that? I don't know why that that just gives me joy so there it is guys a real heavy metal steampunk looking metal holder so Thanks for watching everyone. It's a really cold, really cold today and the wind is really blowing pretty hard. So I think I'm gonna take a spa or a sauna or whatever you call that. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>